Hi, I'm Max Robinson. I intend to help physically challenged men awaken their masculinity. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Motability Scheme. If you haven't heard of this, it's a charity that helps people with mobility issues uh, to afford a car if they can't afford it. So I'm going to put up on the screen um, the benefits that you will need to be eligible for this scheme. So if you don't receive any of these benefits, then this video isn't for you. You can click off now. But if you do receive these benefits and you haven't heard of this scheme, then you can click a link that I put in the description to see if you're actually eligible for the scheme. Uh, I'm not affiliated at all, obviously. This is just to spread awareness and help people. So how does this relate to masculinity? Well, as physically challenged men, we want to always expand our power and expand our personal sovereignty, our control over our own lives, right? And if we have mobility issues, it can be extremely difficult to walk around anywhere, right? And like for me, the last time I used public transport was probably about three years ago before lockdown, right? Um, and I used crutches like to get to the train station, get on the train and stuff like that, and then walk around afterwards, right? You don't want to be doing all of that ideally, right? So <clears throat> if you... Um, if the help is there, you should accept that help and you should get on this scheme. I highly recommend it. Obviously, you can do what you want, but I'm going to go into details about why this scheme is amazing, in my opinion. So when we have a car, instead of using public transport, it vastly increases the options for what we can do and where we can go. Like, again, for me, like, I don't go anywhere without my car. Um, or very rarely, very rarely, right? Um... I mean, when you have a car, you're more free, you have much more options. And again, this is just for the UK. I'm not sure this scheme is available anywhere else. But um, in the UK, there's disabled spaces and there's yellow lines. Uh, you can park on single yellow lines as long as they don't have the T section on them, right? If they're just single yellow lines, you can park on them for three hours as well. So there are these systems in place to help us and we should use these systems because they're there for our benefit and um, we don't want to be in the position that we are forever with regards to um, being able to afford a car and being on benefits. We, we do want to do everything we can to get off of benefits, but for the time being, accept the help that is there. I kind of see this uh, motability scheme as compensation for being in pain for the whole of my life, right? And. Uh, I uh, suggest you uh, see it the same way, right? Um, obviously, we would rather not have the pain at all and not have the mobility issues. But as we do, this is um, a good level of compensation, right? It's uh, it's a very good deal what you can, what you can get on this scheme. They do everything from uh, like wheelchairs to scooters, wheelchair accessible vehicles, uh, so cars and people carriers, right? So there's everything there. There's a range of things that you can choose from. And again, it all helps with your sovereignty, with your freedom, with your control over your own life, which is what we want to aim to have. Also, there's uh, adaptations, which I believe are free of charge. For me, I don't know personally about the adaptations, if they're free or not, but I presume that they are. Uh, I use an automatic car. Uh, and my disability affects my right side of my body. So my right leg works like a, a regular person's right leg, yeah? So for me, I don't need any adaptations, but if you need adaptations, they will put the adaptations in the car for you and they'll allow you to keep these adaptations for the entire time of your lease. There's also the option, if you do want to keep the car at the end of your lease, then, well, you can extend your lease also. And you, there is an option to buy the car, but uh, when you uh, buy the car, if you choose to go that uh, route, then um, it, will, it won't be such a good deal. It will be the same market value as uh, what they're offering that car on the regular market. You know, it will be a comparable price. So it won't be an amazingly good deal like the Motability Scheme is in itself. So the prices, they come out quarterly, and they've literally come out a few days ago now. So uh, on the 1st of this month, the new prices got released. The prices have actually gone up uh, tremendously compared to what they used to be. Um, and also the, the range of cars on the scheme is great, but 
they weren't they aren't what they used to be either but regardless of whatever car you choose to get on this deal it's an amazing deal compared to what you can get on finance so when i was younger before i had my major operations uh, i used to train with chelsea disabled team and there was a guy on my team called sammy real warrior dude like more of a warrior than me he was uh awesome like cool dude uh, it reminds me of vin diesel actually like such a a masculine man right uh, but the point is um he uh said to me that motability isn't the best option like you can get a uh, a cheaper car and then you can choose to keep your benefits uh coming into your bank account and he said oh that's that's the way to go and you can do whatever you want with your money i'm not here to tell you what to do with your money it's your choice of course right but in my opinion motability is the best option because if you buy your own car, you're gonna have to, um, first of all, lay out uh, a bit of money to start off with, and you, you're not gonna get a brand new car. So whatever car you get is gonna be more liable to um, potentially breaking down and, and stuff like that than the car you get with Motability. And also, one of the best things is that with the money that goes to Motability, it's not just the car lease that you're uh, you're paying for. You also get your insurance, your road tax, services, your MOT as well. And also, you don't pay ULES and you don't pay congestion charge. I'm not sure if this is just with Motability cars. Like, I don't know if you receive the benefits for uh, mobility issues or disability. I don't know if you have to pay ULES or uh, congestion charge. But I know that if you are on Motability, then you don't have to pay those. So it's an amazing deal uh, and one that I would fully recommend because with all of that taken care of uh, and you don't see the money either. Like if you're on the scheme, the money doesn't come into your account and then go out. You don't you don't see the money. The money just goes straight to them, which is good because it's complete ease of mind complete peace of mind which um, as physically challenged men if we have mobility issues or pain peace of mind is, is a thing that we um, we should strive to achieve and if we can receive this then it, it's, it's the thing to do in my opinion at least for me when I'm stressed and when I'm um, yeah agitated about things Again, we want to be stoic about things, don't we? But if a thing really does get to me and uh, make me um, tense or angry, then I'm in more pain than I would be normally because uh, the tension affects my muscles. And uh, when you're in a negative state as well, uh, also um, you won't be so strong-willed and you won't have such a strong mindset if something really, really gets to you, right? So my point is like, you won't ever have to worry about uh, your car breaking down or, uh, you know, if someone uh, crashes into you or whatever, you're insured um, and you, you'll have to pay an excess and that will vary on uh, how many years you've been driving, etc. But it's the best deal, in my opinion, because, again, it's a good deal financially because of all of the benefits that you get. Um, insurance, MOT, services, road tax, but also the fact of not having to worry about that is, in my opinion, equally beneficial. Another thing is you can add named drivers to your insurance. Like, I didn't know. So for when, when I last signed up, it was uh, one named driver that you could have. But looking on the website, it says that you can have three named drivers now, right? So. I'm not sure if that's for all cases or not, but you can have a minimum of one named driver on your insurance. So they're going to be insured on your car within the costs of uh, the lease. For me, my mum is my named driver, so she gets to use my car if it benefits me whenever she wants, right? Um, <clears throat> but I can change her out. I can put someone else in so there's been numerous times where i've gone on road trips with my friends uh, to various places and uh, i haven't wanted to drive because it hurts for me to drive over an hour and the places we go to are far away so i've changed my mum out and put 
my friends on so they can drive the car for you and then that way that saves you the pain of driving long distance too if you can't do that yet and again we always want to work to be the best we can so if you can't drive for a certain period of time because it hurts you always want to try and level up and strive for better so now if there's a place that's however far away i can do it and actually there was a time when i first got my my current car five and a half years ago wow <laughs> time goes far too quickly but <clears throat> when i first got my car my pain actually wasn't so bad at that time so i done like a gosh four hour road trip with a friend of mine and we went to uh middlesbrough uh but i stopped halfway between right so if you are doing a longer journey you can take breaks to rest because of your pain uh just do things that make it work for you so if you like the video and you want to see more of me and more of my ideas please like subscribe comment help me spread my message thank you